if you're a fan of Lethal Cosmetics, then this video may be one for you because this is the new Lethal Cosmetics collection. It's their two up collection. A massive thank you to both Makeup On Your Radar and Inez, who very kindly sent me on the information on this. But let's discuss all of this newy newness, which is coming out on the 29th of September. You may be thinking to yourself, well, Teresa, I think I've seen this before. Didn't they have some sort of an up collection before? Yes. Yes, they did, my gorgeous friends. But this is the two up and it's actually a sequel to the previous one. And they showed it on their YouTube earlier today. Like I'm talking about in the last hour. And this is what it looks like. And it has 10 new shades, which I think is very smart because the last palette that they had, which was the one up, I have that, it had one or two repeat shades. So they're really listening to their consumers on that. There's Sprite, which is a matte warm purple, Portable, which is a matte bright mint, Cartridge, which is a matte cornflower with a silver sparkle, 16 bit, which is a matte neon lime green, D pad, a sparkly translucent turquoise and pink duochrome, chip tune, which is a matte vivid coral level, a deep matte blue, console, a sparkly lilac or blue duochrome, pixel, a sparkly light peach pink duochrome and select a matte pastel pink. The shades in this palette are all quite unusual, but they've kept with that 90s theme, which is quite nice. But of course, rather importantly, we know that this is retailing for 45 euro, which I actually feel is very, very affordable for Lethal Cosmetics because they are on the pricier end. But that is because a lot of their products are made in Berlin. Now, not all of them are because they've had to outsource one or two little bits as part of this collection. But still, in general, most of their products are made in Berlin. They also introduced 10 water activated magnetic liners and a lot of them are essentially UV. The dual ones are UV and they like glow in the dark. It's really, really cool. And they're €8.50 each. The black and the white singles are retailing for €8 Euro each. I actually think that's quite interesting and you can obviously put them into like a magnetic palette. So very, very smart. Great for if you're traveling and obviously because they're dual pan. I think that this is very, very smart and the colors that they've kind of selected here are really, really interesting and they mix well. So yes, you get a dual pan, but technically you get three colors out of this. And I think this is really, really good. The fact that they're magnetic, again, you can put them into some sort of like a Z palette and wander around with them. Don't know why you'd wander around with liners, but in this scenario, you are more than welcome to do it. Now, this was the bit that kind of got me that I was like, what on earth is this about? This is their catalyst activator drop. So they basically went on to say in the video that, you know, obviously those magnetic liners, you can use water in them. But they said that everyone's water is obviously different. Some has chlorine, some has all of these different minerals, etc. that make it more difficult to deal with. And that sometimes you put in too much water. Hey, that's happened to me. And it takes a while to get to the creamy consistency so that they said that they've essentially circumvented that by having this catalyst activator drop. Now, as far as I know, this is one of the ones that they haven't made in Berlin, but it is still Lethal's own thing. They are not private label. They went to great lengths to really explain that. So that is retailing for €11.50. Euro. They also then have these cute little nail stickers, which are obviously very, very inspired by the palette. You get 107 little nail stickers for €6.50. And I love that they've actually shown them on the nail. They look so cute, super 90s. I'm kind of here for it. They then have a couple of different designs of face gems and they're retailing for €6 Euro each. Now, personally, I wouldn't really go out and pay €6 Euro for these. You know, you can get them elsewhere, but that's just my opinion. And some of them don't seem to be completely related to the overall theme. Like this one is, but this one kind of isn't either. For me, they're just a bit gaudy and I don't love them as much as I, I could potentially. And then the very last thing that they showed was their Constellation 9 palette, which is the successor of Orbital. So obviously Orbital got discontinued and this is essentially their replacement. And that's going to retail for €11.50. Euro. So this whole collection is launching Friday, September 29th at 4 p.m. CEST. So put that into your diaries if you are interested in this one. You know me, I love indie brands and I love the fact that we have a really, really strong European brand here. I love that they lean very much into the 90s. There's it, like it's really, really clear that the owners have a strong love for makeup and that appeals to me. Um, I am not going to get anything from it this time around, just I'm watching my money. 
However, I think it's super, super cute. I feel like if I'm looking at the palette itself, it's not as cohesive as I would like it to be, but I feel like the singular shades in this are really, really nice. Does it necessarily work as a standalone palette? I'm not entirely sure, but I could see myself using this palette in line with other ones. Love, love the liners, but you know me. I love water activated liners. It's it's a little bit of an issue at this point. Face gems, I think they could have gone without. I'm not really sure what the story is with this catalyst activated liner. Like we'll see what the story is on that. And the nail stickers, they're quite cute. But let me know what you guys think. I think there's definitely some nice elements in this. And it's very clearly lethal. You know, you you can always tell by looking at their products. Oh yeah. That has lethal all over it. They have an aesthetic and they stick to it. And I appreciate that. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Because I think it's quite cute.